In this video, we'll go over a few of the tasks that you need to do in Microsoft Azure before you can deploy Horizon Edge on that cloud platform. We'll create both a service principle and a user managed identity. We'll also register the required Azure resource providers that are not already registered by default. A service principle is similar to a service account in an on-prem Active Directory. The service principle is for enterprise apps that need access to Azure resources. Start in the Azure portal and search to go to Azure Active Directory, soon to be renamed Entra ID. Then go down to App Registrations, click New Registration, and give the app a name. For the platform, select web and make up a URL to point to that app you just made up. Click register. Now it's on the page for your new app. Go up to certificates and secrets and click new client secret. Enter a description and then select an expiration period such as 24 months. Click add. Then click the icon to copy the string in the value field. Now, and this is very important, paste that client secret into some document where you will be able to find it later. You won't be able to copy it from here again, so if you lose it, you'll have to start over. You'll be able to copy this application ID later, but not the client secret. Okay, now we need to go to the subscription to give the service principal a role. I think you need to be a global administrator in Azure to do this. On the page for the subscription, click Access Control and click Add, Add Role Assignment. Click the tab for Privileged Administrator Roles and search for the role name Contributor. Select that and click Next. Click Select Members. You won't see the service principal yet in the Select Members list. Type the name of the service principal into the search box and it should then show up. Select it and click Select. Click Review and Assign. Then it nags you because the contributor role gives it so many permissions. If you want to give it fewer permissions, see the documentation topic called To Use a Custom Role for Horizon Cloud App Registration. I want to give it the contributor role, so I'm going to click Review and Assign. Now that we've given the service principal access to resources, we need to make sure all the resources we need are registered. Go to the subscription and click Resource Providers. There are 11 resource providers that must be registered. Some are already registered by default, but we'll have to check on which ones. I start scrolling down the long list and find one, Microsoft Authorization. It's already registered. I scroll down some more, and find Microsoft Compute. It's not registered. So with it selected, click Register. Now it says it's registering. Click Refresh, and when it's done, a notification appears. Yay. Now scrolling through this long list is not very efficient, so I'm just going to start searching. I type in Container and see that it's already registered. Keep searching and registering until you have all 11 of these resource providers registered. Then you can double check by clicking the status column to show all the registered ones and make sure they're all there. We've got storage, managed identity, network, security, and then container service, compute, key vault, authorization, and then marketplace ordering, resource graph, and resources. That's all 11. Now to create a user managed identity, search in the Azure portal for managed identities. A user managed identity is just like a service principal, except that it is linked to an Azure resource rather than to an app. In our case, that will be the Azure Kubernetes service. Click create. Make sure the correct subscription is selected. And I'm going to create a new resource group, but if you already have a resource group for the virtual network you're planning to use, select that. 
Select the region closest to your end users, mine is East US, and then give the managed identity a name. Click Review and Create, and click Create. Deployment succeeded, yay. Expand the deployment details and click the name. Now we're on the page for the managed identity. Click Azure Role Assignments. Again, I think you have to be a global administrator to do this. Click Add Role Assignment. Select Subscription. Make sure the correct subscription is listed. And for Role, type in Managed Identity Operator. Click Save. Now we're going to add one more role. For scope, select resource group. Select the resource group for the virtual network you plan to use. For role, type in network contributor. Click save. The Horizon Edge that you're going to deploy, as described in the next video, uses an Azure Kubernetes service cluster that requires this user managed identity. For more Horizon Cloud technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.omnisa.com. <laughs>